Hello everyone, welcome back to the Retro Football Kit YouTube channel. I hope you're doing well. Today we've got top five Fiorentina shirts of all time. If you're wondering why I'm wearing a hat, it's f***ing freezing, so I, I had to. Also, I've been wearing it all day and I've got extremely bad hat hair, um, so I'm definitely not getting that out. Anyway, Fiorentina, yeah, um, really excited for this one. Another great suggestion from uh, previous videos. This one's been highly requested, actually. Uh, I can look back to the Roma video. You've got people like Mihal. E-Man saying the same thing, asking for Fiorentina. Cunadini asking for the Fiorentina video. Also in the Parma video, you've got Andreas Castro saying, do Fiorentina. Uh, you've got other people as well, loads of people. Kevin, love the name, just Kevin, uh, in the chat. Uh, loads of people getting in the chat, as always. I really love it when people are doing that. Um, I, like I said, I try and do what people ask for. Um, get in the comments myself, all that sort of stuff. So if you are watching this, let me know what you think in the comments. Um, but yeah, Fiorentina, I'm excited for this one. However, before I get into my top five uh, Fiorentina shirts, I've got to say, make sure you check out our website, retrofootballkits.co.uk. Uh, we sell thousands of retro football kits, as the name suggests. Uh, all these ones here, Fiorentina shirts behind me. Uh, that one just there they're all on the site and also this weekend only so if you're watching this when this comes out Black Friday weekend we have a Black Friday sale on so if you use code Black Friday 15 you'll get 15% off which is just great isn't it so make sure you use that uh, and check out the website the link will be in the description right let's get into it let's get into some football kits in the 80s, Fiorentina have had some class kits and the standout feature was always that big badge. Fiorentina throughout its history have always had the Fleur de Lis as their badge. It's the symbol of Florence, it's the symbol for this football club. But when President Flavio Pontelli came in, he's a businessman, he came in as the president, he altered the badge to incorporate a big F within it, as we've all seen, and it, they made it absolutely f***. Huge on the front of the shirt. It was a big advertising thing that didn't really go down well uh, with fans at the time. But that's the story behind the badge, um, and it was just slap bang in the middle. But for me, I'm going with the 85, 86 shirt. So it's not as big. It's the one of the ones where it was incorporated as an actual badge. This shirt, this shirt's great. You know, of course, it's made by NRA. Uh, you got the classic uh, new Fleur de Lis badge with the F involved. You got the classic NR logo. Uh, you've got the iconic Opal sponsor within this white hoop across the front of the shirt. And to be honest, it's Fiorentina at its finest form. It's it's an elegant, simple, beautiful kit. Um, and th those things are very hard to pull off. And this one is just absolutely does that. This shirt has actually been reimagined. This shirt was so good. It's actually been reimagined. Oh my God, re. Imagined this shirt was actually so good that it's been reimagined this shit. I can't say reimagined. Oh my god This shirt is actually so good that it's been made reimagined 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 <laughs> This shirt is so good that it's been reimagined uh, This season actually so this season they've brought back that classic old logo with the Floyd de Lise and the F kind of hybrid badge They've brought that back. They've brought back the uh, white banner across the front in the same design it's it's just been completely modernized, but it's beautiful And that's how good that old shirt was when it's been fought back and it's been brought back. I don't know why I said fought back <laughs> Next up I'm going for the 1992 to 93 collection so the home the away and the third I'm gonna start with the home kit and these shirts were sponsored by Lotto and Lotto actually used the very same template They used for the Dutch team with this so it's kind of like a, a repeated Lotto pattern behind in the shirt And but to be fair and this is this goes for every kit really if you put it in purple if you put it in Fiorentina's purple it's gonna look better but the pattern really worked with this shirt the shirt I actually had behind me is the same shirt we have it in the store, it's the same pattern, just a different badge because the season I'm talking about is the 7-Up, of course. There's just something about that 7-Up badge that works with Fiorentina. I don't know what it is. I think you don't see that kind of sponsorship often. You see betting, you see beer, you see companies from the local area. But 7-Up, such a random sponsor, but it just worked. The logo looks cool and it just worked on the front of that home shirt. I really did like it. Then briefly, let's talk away about the third. I have it here, this one right here. So again, you can see a, a better look at that 7-Up logo. It just looks wicked on the front of the shirt. This, uh, this third shirt, very simple, very classy. Uh, just, just a plain white shirt with the purple bits of trimmings on the collar and the cuff. Perfect, simple. But of course, the real story here is that infamous away shirt. A white shirt with a purple geometric pattern over the top of it, so like over the, the chest and the shirt and the sleeves. Uh, and it was actually worn a couple of times, like Gabriel Batistuta has worn this shirt in a game. But 
of course, it's infamous for a reason. It's infamous for the fact that within that geometric pattern, a swastika was found a couple of times with the where the lines meet, and it actually had to be pulled from the stores and from the team. It, it, it's the story behind this is mad. It's a very infamous story within football shirts. It's actually gone down in like cult legend of football shirts, but it's just bizarre to me how it, it wasn't seen until players were wearing it on the pitch. How mad is that to think that this must have gone through a couple of people? Like a couple of people saw this shirt and no one saw the uh, swastikas, especially the ones surrounding the badges. It, it's it's absolutely insane for me. Actually, this set of kits have to go on the list for that reason for me. In 1993, Fiorentina were relegated down to Serie B. It was a pretty dark day for Fiorentina fans. But of course, they quickly bounced back and established themselves as a mid-table squad side once again in the 94-95 season. And in that 94-95 season, the team brought in Portugal playmaker, Portugal magician, Rui Costa. And uh, he just linked up perfectly with Gabriel Batistuta that season. It was a free-flowing, beautiful time for them. And it was definitely the start of something special for this club. And in this period, so we went, you know, playing in the Serie B and going into the Serie A again the next season. So... They were playing some, in some mental, mental kits. These are really striking graphic kits. This shirt is very, very, there's a lot going on. It's like a graphic kind of graffiti-esque pattern just going all over the shirt. It's all mishmash. It's all crazy. It's, there's a lot going on, but I kind of like it. I think there's a charm to it. I think it works. It's like a lot of uh, organized chaos within this shirt. Um, it's a winner for me. And again, the home and the away look really good because the away is just an inverse. And to be honest, the white and the purple just really work with Fiorentina, don't it? Oh my God, the sun. My face is on fire. I might have to close the blind. There is no blind. No. I now have this like very aesthetic sliver of light coming across like I'm in some sort of Instagram video like it is what it is <laughs> can't say this is really distracting uh. so in that last clip I said that this was the start of something special and something special was happening and if you go forward to the next season the 95 96 season the ex that exactly happened uh, Fiorentina reached the final of Coppa Italia of course Battered Stuta scoring twice to win 3 0 over the two legs. Uh, just incredible, incredible day for Fiorentina. Uh, their first Coppa Italia since the 70s. Really, really big moment for the club. A very special time for La Viola, and they did it in some beautiful, beautiful kits. The 95 96 collection of kits really put the club's badge to work. Uh, they used the Fleur de Lis in some beautiful ways, some beautiful different ways to create different cool kits. So the home. Uh, they've put it right front and centre. It's in your face and the home is like a half-tone, two-tone, purple, light purple kit with that dead centre in the middle. That's just iconic, in your face, beautiful. Whereas the way in third, however, have used the Fleur de Lise as a pattern on top of the shoulders right here, which kind of creates this abstract pattern when you're looking at it dead on. I uh, thought that was really cool. It's very, you know, the club's history, the club's badge, everything that that club means is into the shirt. Uh, very cool. And that away shirt was worn in the Coppa Italia win. So, of course, that just drills it into the hearts of Fiorentina fans. Now, come on. I couldn't make a list, a top five list of Fiorentina shirts without talking about Nintendo. You got Fila, you got Nintendo, you got Florentina's purple. What a combination. It was all going right. My favourite is the 97 98 one. I think this shirt is exactly what you want from a Fiorentina kit. You've got the kind of like shiny matte Filo Delices all over the shirt. You've got the introduction of a yellow, which is something you rarely saw in Fiorentina kits. It was always red, white, and purple. But this a little bit of yellow like on the sleeve cuffs and also on the feel of things on the shoulder. Brilliant, just brilliant inclusion. And of course, that iconic Nintendo sponsor. Now, come on. This this has gone down in history. It was brilliant. It was brilliant because of the looks, just the simple Nintendo logo on the front of the shirt, really eye-catching, really cool. Uh, it was great for marketing. You know, fans of Mario Kart was now looking at Fiorentina shirts. Uh, it was just brilliant for so many reasons, and this has really, truly put itself into the history books with that. Now, that is me done. I need to get this done before the the sun blinds me. I'm so sorry for this kind of distracting thing throughout the whole video. Uh, it's it's quite annoying, I'm sorry. But listen, 
thank you for everyone that's giving love to this channel really do appreciate um the love the channel's getting it's just it's great i absolutely love it been loving making these videos myself let me know what you want to see in the comments some people have gave me some absolutely incredible suggestions that i'm going to do in the future uh, i'm just keeping up this top five thing going for now but i'm going to delve into other football shirt content as well so love that um really appreciate you if you haven't already if you're watching this right now and you haven't subscribed please do uh, we bring out a video every single friday about football shirts we're kind of creating a football shirt community here which is something that that's that's the point in it that's what i like about it so yeah and then finally again it's black friday weekend black friday 15 on our website retrofootballkits.co.uk 15 percent off all of our shirts any shirt that we have you could get this one you could get that one that's kind of white washed out because of the sun <laughs> all of these shirts uh, you can get 50% off so make sure you check out that link will be in the description and just have a great day wherever you are